Let's talk about this awesome current run with Godzilla vs. the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. So Rita, Goldar, and Scorpina seem to be doing some kind of tomb raiding because they want to get some kind of gem or stone that have the secrets to reality themselves. So Tommy Oliver, who is the Green Ranger, is doing some sort of recon mission because he knows that they're up to no good. Despite the efforts of the Green Ranger, Rita ends up getting the stone or the gem itself and asks Goldar and the rest of them to hold off Tommy Oliver so that she could do what she needs to do. So she uses the stone to go to a world where the Power Rangers do not exist and she's quite successful. But she transports to an angel grove none like any other. And Rita, Scorpina, and Goldar witness two kaiju, monstrous looking kaiju, fighting each other. And one of them, we know, happens to be Godzilla. Continuing into part two, Rita Repulsor, Goldar, and Scorpina are watching this battle unfold. But they also notice that there are some observers there. So they decide to go investigate. When they get on the spacecraft, they notice that these are some humanoid based alien figures that. Now during the banter, Goldar and the rest of them definitely show them Boo's boss. Back at the original Angel Grove, Zordon and the Power Rangers are discussing where is Tommy Oliver because they don't know where he went or that he was transported into a whole nother universe. So they decide to track his energy signature. After Rita's crew basically shows these aliens who's boss, we are then introduced to the Supreme Commander of Planet X. And the battle of the two kaiju comes to a close with Godzilla winning, of course. And Rita says she wants him to be a part of her arsenal. But outside, Tommy Oliver is here and he summons the Dragon Zord to fight off Godzilla because he thinks he's a bad guy. So last time, Rita Repulsor was trying to control Godzilla and Tommy Oliver was trying to go against Godzilla at the same time. Godzilla then turns around to look at the Dragon Zord and is like, who the hell are you? So the commander from Planet X and Rita Repulsa are watching the fight ensue. And the commander from Planet X is basically like, Godzilla is not no little joke or a pushover. And if we're seeing the two colossal the Zord and Godzilla just battling each other. And Godzilla's wailing on the Dragon Zord. And Tommy's like, what the hell is going on? And you know what's happening? Godzilla continues wailing on him. Now, Tommy Oliver is like, you know, it's time to, it's time to lay out the weapon. So, Dragon Zord pulls out his, his finger missiles, pew, 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 <laughs> and all of that. And Godzilla's getting hit. He's like, God damn. At this point, Godzilla's like, enough is enough, and Atomic breaths the hell out of him. By this time, Dragon Zord is donezo, and the Power Rangers come on the scene, and they're basically like, Zordon took a while, but we finally found you, Tommy. We're here, so let's do this. Dinosaur power. So the Zords are on the scene, they're fighting Godzilla to the best of their ability, but Godzilla is a force of nature and he is wailing on all of them. So Jason the Red Ranger is kind of like, this is a little bit too much for us, time to combine the Zords. So they combine the Zords into the Megazord and they start fighting and they get a punch off of Godzilla in his face. But that is not enough for Godzilla and they're, they're saying things like, Rita has really made a monster this time but they don't know that this is not uh, Rita's creation at all so they call out the power sword all right so last time Godzilla was wailing on the Megazord and Rita and the aliens from Planet X decided to take the opportunity and take advantage Godzilla took hits the Megazord took hits and eventually the Megazord dissipated into the separate Zord and Godzilla bounced and said I'm out of here during this time they went to go save Tommy Oliver they infiltrated one of the spaceships and you already know what they did. It's morphing time. Now they were about to save Tommy when they noticed something had arrived. It was Gigan. Now the Power Rangers had an option. Save Tommy Oliver or go to the amusement park where Gigan just arrived. Tommy said, go. And the Power Rangers said, dinosaur power. They battled and the Power Rangers were doing pretty good. Now at this point the Power Rangers are going hard getting in their hits. Rita took advantage of this situation and summoned her monsters. Alright, so last time, I, Guy, Rhino Laser, and Gigan were about to team up on the Megazord. And they successfully started just wailing on the Megazord. The Megazord was just overwhelmed with the amount of sheer force and just the combination of attacks. The Power Rangers really didn't know what they were going to do. In the midst of everything, Rita Repulsa was trying to ensnare Tommy Oliver. She was trying to bring him back to his evil ways, but he was fighting back, fighting back a lot. 
Even though she wasn't able to ensnare him, she basically told him that soon you'll succumb to the evil ways again. And Tommy was basically saying, no, nothing will ever get me back to my evil ways. Now, even though the Megazord and the Power Rangers were losing, they were not going to give up. They started fighting, did their best, and out of nowhere, we saw Atomic Breath. Godzilla came on the scene, and we couldn't tell if he was friend or a foe. But here's the thing, he was foe to everything. He was blasting everyone, including the Power Rangers Megazord. But you gotta remember, he was damaged and wounded from his first fight, the second fight, and the fight with the Megazord itself. During this time, Rhino Laser, Eye Guy, and also Gigan took advantage of this and blasted Godzilla. The Power Rangers knew this was wrong, and they knew that Godzilla was just a natural force of nature. He wasn't evil at all. So they had a plan. And the plan was simple. In order to heal Godzilla, they wanted to use the power sword and then basically juice him up. And you know what happened? He got powered up and Godzilla did not see the Megazord as an enemy and they teamed up. So Godzilla and the Megazord were gaining some synergy in their battle where Godzilla seemed to know exactly what the Megazord needed to do and vice versa. Now some of the monsters that were coming from the planet were basically kind of running away and Scorpina was sending them right back in and Rita was basically talking to the commander from Planet X and saying like what kind of monsters are these like I want your most powerful monster and the commander was like no you're a little bit too brash it's no telling what would happen if we summon the next monster and Scorpina was like I'm out of here I would rather lose to Godzilla than to lose to these Power Rangers so Rita takes over and she sends Finster to summon their most powerful monster on the planet and they summoned King Ghidorah King Ghidorah was unfortunately whipping the hell out of the Megazord and also Godzilla but mostly the Megazord and Godzilla is doing his thing he's shooting his atomic breath but I want to remind you all that since the beginning of the story Godzilla has been in constant battle now at this point Rita's pretty pleased and she's like you know this is this is what I call a monster basically but no one's really controlling King Ghidorah and he ends up shooting a blast at the ship that inhabits the Green Ranger Rita and the rest of them and this causes a malfunction in his cell so he makes an escape and he comes across one of the minions and they fight for a little bit and eventually the minion is like, go help your friends, because no one is controlling King Ghidorah. The minion is like, I'm still going to want to take over the Earth, but just go do your thing. And in fashion, the Green Ranger says, it's morphin' time. Now during this time, while Tommy is trying to escape, Goldar, Rita, and Finster are wondering what is going on and why is King Ghidorah even trying to attack the ship. And the commander from Planet X was like, <laughs> I told you that no one is controlling King Ghidorah. You summoned him, but he has his own motives and that's basically to wreak havoc over everything and Rita's basically like who summoned this monster Rita it was you 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 did this so Rita was like to Finster how many monsters do we have and Finster was like we have a lot and then Goldar was like send me my queen basically send me and all of the monsters and we'll take care of King Ghidorah and with that she sent all the monsters and Goldar to face off against King Ghidorah and they're trying their best and they're like, what the hell is going on? And Finster's like, I told you, my queen, like this monster was already defeating Godzilla and the Megazord. And she's like, don't, don't answer any of my questions. And then we see that they're basically losing and the Green Ranger is getting back into the Dragon Sword. And we see the Green Ranger and he's back in the Dragon Sword and he's like, time to get the band back together. But don't count Godzilla out because he's doing his best to hold down King Ghidorah. So then Goldar and Scorpina is like, we're out of here. And Goldar is basically like, Scorpina, for once, I agree with you. And you already know it's going to be an ultimate team up at this point. So last time, the Dragon Sword and the Mega Zord combined together to make the Mega Dragon Sword. And they did their blast and Godzilla did their blast. And it was just pure awesome. And you saw Godzilla just roaring the hell out of the sky. And then Godzilla shot an atomic blast like none other by the ship that was heading above him. And it happened to hit a little bit of Rita too and her again. And you know Godzilla wasn't finished. He roared again, proving that he is the king of all monsters. And you know Godzilla's always up for a fight. So he looked at the Megazord and was getting ready. But before that, the Power Rangers teleported out of it. And after the recap, they were like, damn, that was quite a journey. During this time, Rita and her gang were trying to get back and they saw versions of Godzilla and also the Power Rangers because the crystal that they used to get there was broken. Hope you enjoyed the series.